In this YouTube video, uh, Richard Jones shows us how to use a sweep command with these values to generate a pair of interlinked Mobius strips. And what I want to do is show you a recipe how you can generate a single Mobius strip that interlinks with itself in a very similar way. So it sort of passes round once as twisted and then passes round itself again but interlocks with itself uh, at about 90 degrees by the looks of it. So it's a similar sort of shape to this, but it's only one strip instead of two. So here's a recipe, right, in Wings 3D, right click, create a cube. And you want to select the face, the top face of this cube, right click, select sweep, sweep and X. At this point, you're sweeping in control of the mouse, but we don't want that. We need exact figures for this. Exact figures are important. So hit the tab key to get your figures in. First value is two. The next value here is 180 divided by the odd number of segments that you want and it must be an odd number above five and it's going to be well if you, you create a lot of segments you're going to create a lot of work for yourself as you'll see in the later steps so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose a number like 11 for example so if i do 180 divided by 11 that gives me 16.363636 recurring so i'll just put that value in here I'm going to choose a few decimal places so it's going to be accurate enough to weld back to itself. The value at the bottom wants to be half this value. So that value divided by 2 is 8.181818. Go OK. And then use the Shift D command to extend this around, overlap itself, overlap itself again. And at this point here, where I'm pointing with the mouse, that's where the faces will meet. But you've got these odd ends to get rid of. So press I, so both of the faces on the odd ends are selected. Press plus to get the side faces. Press delete. Then you can select the entire shape, right click and weld it together. Press space to deselect everything. Select the edge tool. Select one of these outer edges. Press L for loop and it should loop right around the shape. Right click now. Press bevel. Hold the control key down and take it down 0.6. And then right click again. Extrude. Normal. Take it out. I don't know. 0.6 doesn't really matter. It's, it depends on how many segments. So I've got 11 segments, so that just seems an appropriate value. And then I'll use Shell Extrude. So it's right click and Shell Extrude, which is there. Normal. And I'll take it out again. Oh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Right. In the geometry graph, you can see I've generated a new shape as a result of the Shell Extrude. I'm going to just hide that by clicking on the I now. And this is the shape that's going to create the interlocking webs. So with the edge tool, select one of these edges here, press G and L and G and L. Just do it a few times so you've got this ready for loop cutting up into separate segments. So these all need to loop around the outside, then use loop cut. And you should be able to see that it's split up into several segments. There's 11 of these, so it's an odd number. So using the face selection tool, I'll press space and go to face selection. What you want to do now is select one of these that's on the outside. So it's one of these extruded faces and click on that, then leave one and then select the next one. Work your way around like this. Try not to make any mistakes. If you do, you just have to use Control Z or this backwards arrow to undo them. So figure out where you are in this and patiently make your way around the outside, selecting every other one. Uh, this is why I say if you choose a very large odd number, when you're generating this then you'll be tied up for quite a while. I haven't figured out any easy way of doing this. So get back to where you started and then you'll notice not only is it every other one on this outside but it should also be every other one on the way around the outside here as well. At this point use the vertex selection then press plus and plus to extend that selection and hit delete and what you should find is that you've got all these little uh, rectangular segments crossing at 90 degrees and seeming to be one and then the other one and then the other which sort of seems impossible because there's an odd number of shapes but it's because it twists 90 degrees as it goes round. Bring back in the shape that was hidden use the select everything tool and then just make sure everything's selected and then right click and weld that back together and select everything and then you can use do Sabian subdivision to smooth this down a bit select everything do Sabian subdivision maybe hit smooth key one last time uh, with everything selected smooth okay and then at this point I'll have a look how it looks so there you go 
that's one of the potential finish shapes that you could have and then you use the export options up here in file to export it to whatever render engine you fancy rendering that in so there you go that's the end of the video I thought that was an interesting shape with some unusual properties at first glance particularly when you use a large number of segments it looks like it's two linked Mobius strips but if you follow these round then you'll see that it's just one strip that somehow manages to go around twice and intersect with itself so there you go I hope you found that interesting and uh, that you'll experiment with this in Wings 3D cheers now